Hey, hello Cloud Gurus. I'm here in West London on a freezing cold January morning. I've been up since 5 a.m. brushing up on my security specialty uh, knowledge. Uh, I'm about to go sit the exam. We're in uh, West London. Uh, I've been basically reading about all the things you would expect to be on the exam. So identity access management, AWS KMS, encryption, um, Cloud HSM, uh, you name it, AWS Config Manager. I'm really excited to see what this exam is going to hold and uh, wish me luck. The exam goes for uh, three hours. I don't know how many questions uh, are on it, uh, but hopefully I'll have a little bit more to share with you once I get out. Hey, hello Cloud Gurus. Well, I finished my exam. It was 70 questions in total. It took me just over two hours. It is definitely a much more finished product than the last certified security specialty exam. Uh, this one is looks polished uh, and is really, really challenging, I think. Um, it is definitely harder than the associate exams, but it's not quite as hard as the solutions architect professional. Uh, and so why don't we go back to my office and I'll tell you what subjects you should study at a high level. Okay, hello Cloud Gurus, I'm back in my office, uh, back from West London. Uh, so I did do the exam this morning, uh, it took me about two hours. Um, in terms of the course, the course was actually refilmed just before reInvent. I refilmed the entire thing because the uh, previous course was too death by PowerPoint and wasn't very hands-on. And I think that's what's uh, really good about this exam, the one that I've done this morning. It really does require a lot of hands-on experience. Um, so there are definitely some gaps in our existing course versus uh, the beta exam as it exists right now. Uh, so but basically, I'm going to spend the next two weeks plugging those gaps. And I've written tons and tons and tons of notes. Um, so if you do want to book your beta exam, uh, probably wait till the end of January. We should have the course updates uh, completed by then. Uh, if you just want to rely on our course. If, if you're a bit impatient, you want to go and book the beta now, that's fine. Um, areas I would definitely study are things like S3, uh, things like KMS, for example, uh, things like uh, AWS Config, uh, CloudTrail, um, you know, IAM, uh, and being able to understand policies uh, both within S3 and within IAM is going to be critical to you passing. And to be honest, understanding KMS inside out is also going to be critical to you passing. Also know a little bit, bit about uh, Cloud HSM as well. Um, so I will be creating a whole bunch of new labs uh, throughout the next three weeks. Uh, it's going to be really, really fun, really, really hands-on. You'll learn an awful lot about security. Uh, the existing course uh, does cover probably 50 to 60% of the exam as it exists right now. Um, we do have a, a series of cool labs where we go in and we use KMS uh, quite a lot. Uh, we also use Cloud HSM and we'll provision a Cloud HSM uh, device. Um, for those of you that don't know, Cloud HSM has recently changed its billing. It's now on a per hour basis, so you no longer have to worry about that $5,000 monthly fee. Um, so it's become affordable for everyone to go in and provision Cloud HSM uh, and start using it. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, to be honest, I really did enjoy the exam. I thought uh, in order to pass it, you did really have to know your stuff uh, around the security. I actually predict that this will probably be the most popular exam after S Solutions Architect Associate. Um, reason being is who doesn't want to know about security in the cloud, right? It's one of the number one concerns of employers out there. And this will be a really valuable certificate to have on your CV if you are a solutions architect or a developer and you've also certified uh, in specialty with um, you know, security in the cloud. Um, that's going to look really, really good for employers. So I'm really looking forward to updating this course. I'm basically going to spend the next three weeks doing it. Uh, we're going to make it so that there's tons of labs, almost no uh, PowerPoint presentations whatsoever. So it's very, very hands on. And yeah, I think you guys will really enjoy it. Do do the existing course, uh, but if you do just want to wait before booking your exam, um, you know, um, we should have this live by the end of January. One other thing to note, uh, I said earlier on when I was outside the exam center, it was 70 questions for me. You do not get a pass or a fail. This is a beta uh, exam, so it will take 13 weeks to find out if you've passed or not. You may want to wait for this to come out of beta and sit the real thing. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Um, so do bear that in mind. But of course, if you do do that, the price will go up. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the exam. It has come a long way from the last beta. I think AWS have done a fantastic job uh, with this exam. It's great content. Um, it's not something that you could easily just sort of fudge your way through. You really have to understand security inside out to be able to pass this. I'd say it's somewhere between an associate level and a professional level. It was definitely harder than the three associate ones, um, but wasn't quite as hard as Solutions Architect Professional, in my opinion. Um, so it's somewhere in between. 
So yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know, uh, either in our discussion forums or on our Facebook page. And uh, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you with a new course at the end of January. Thanks.